So after we've applied the membrane, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wet mill gauge and we're gonna stick it into the wet CIM material. And as we pull it out, you'll notice that it's gonna be black here where it says 50 and it's not black where it says 55. So what that tells us is we have between 50 and 55 mils during this application. So on a normal CIM application, we would need to apply just a little more CIM in order to meet the minimum requirement. There are other times where we may wanna put 30 mils of CIM down prior to doing our next coat. So I applied this a little bit thinner. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stick in the wet film gauge and then I'm gonna pull it out. And so here you can see it's black on the 18, but it's not black on the 20. So we have between 18 and 20 mils during that one application. So the wet film gauge is a great way to help med to determine how much material you're putting down. Another way to do it is if you know a five gallon bucket of CIM at 60 mils is gonna roughly cover about 100 square feet. So sometimes we'll grid off a, a, a substrate or an area on a substrate in order to know how far that one gallon pail is gonna go. That helps us gauge how far that's gonna go and then we can use wet film thickness gauges to confirm that our thickness is at the desired level. If we, um, when we're done, then we can do destructive testing to see whether or not we've truly met that minimum requirement.